Yes, sir. Uh, that's right, sir. 155 brand new luxury cars, sir. Ah! Harry! Uh, hang on. Look at this. She's reading a book. That's not normal for a five-year-old. I think she might be an idiot. Listen to this. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, it was the... Would you quit scaring your mother with that book, boy? I'm a girl. And she keeps trying to tell me stories, Harry. Stories! It's not normal for a girl to be all thinking. I'm, I'm going to call you straight back. I am trying to pull off the biggest business deal of my life and I have to listen to this. What about me, huh? I've got a whole house to look after. Dinners don't make away for themselves, you know. I'm off to bleach my roots, and I shan't be talking to you for the rest of the evening. But I'm going to make us rich. How rich? Very rich. Russian businessmen. Very, very stupid. Your genius husband is going to sell them 155 old bangers as brand new luxury cars. But that's not fair. The cars will break down. What about the Russians? Fair. Listen to the boy. I'm a girl. Fair does not get you anywhere, you thick-headed twit brain. All I can say is thank heavens Michael has inherited his old man's brains. Eh, son? My car. <laughs> well, I shall take the money when you earn it, and I shall spend it. But I shan't be enjoying it because of the despicable way image you have spoken to me tonight! This is your fault, you know, with your stupid books and your stupid reading. That's not right. You're off to school in a few days, and I know your principal, the Trunchbull. Scary. Used to compete in the Olympics, throwing the hammer. Now imagine what they're going to do to a horrible little goblin like you, boy. I'm a girl. Now get off to bed, little bookworm. <laughs> <laughs>